All right, how y'all doing? It's your man Vaz here with an unboxing video here on Beast of Sneaks. And, and you know, I just came home today and I was like, what the heck? I didn't know that the, I was gonna have a package as soon as I got it. So I decided I'm just do an unboxing video because I wanted to, you know, talk to you guys about a couple things too. Um, I wanna say a lot of you guys always ask me a lot of questions about stuff and and a lot of times I don't have time to get a video done answering all of those questions. Um, as you guys know, I'm probably one of the only shoe reviewers or YouTubers that constantly, constantly replies to comments. Like, I pride myself on that, you know. I, I feel that there's no excuse for anybody who has uh, a following kind of like I have uh, of subscribers that's actually positive who actually check out the videos leave positive you know feedback for the most part um, constructive criticism here and there you know I don't, I don't really have too many people who come and you know try to be negative um, so I pride myself on talking back to you guys whether it's a simple question or just me being silly trying to make you laugh or maybe you made me laugh and I might reply back let you know or just simple things like that, it always matters. But I always also try to answer you guys' questions down there as well. But an easier way for you guys to get your questions answered, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should by now, because I put a lot of like motivational stuff that I come up with. I don't take other people's stuff and post it. Um, I post the shoes before I do the video so you will know. Um, and also that's just another way that you can have your question answered. Like I'm constantly answering questions on Instagram, YouTube, some people know my personal Facebook, like friends and stuff. I have a fan page that's been up for a minute now and I've been telling everybody to go to it because that's where all of the giveaway information and stuff like that will be, as well as just another way that you can get questions answered. Um, but another thing that a lot of people use that I'm just not starting to catch on to really honestly um, is Twitter. I used to use it for business purposes, only on my music stuff, talking to other producers and artists that want to work with me and stuff like that. But now I want to open it up to you guys because it's, it's, it's kind of crazy that I have a nice amount of followers on Instagram, a nice amount of followers on YouTube, but none basically on Twitter. And that doesn't make sense because that's the most logical thing for you guys to follow me on since it's like right there. You can have to shoot your tweet to me and I'll see it, boom. And I can get to it easier than YouTube. Um, Instagram, I could get to questions pretty good too, but Twitter will be the easiest because I can see everything. And on YouTube, there's like, when one person comment, 10 people can comment, I'm only gonna see the latest one unless I go to the actual video. So with Twitter, I can see everything. So go ahead and follow me on there so y'all can, you know, holler at me, say whatever you want to say. I mean, because think about it this way. You guys follow people who never talk to you, who's not doing anything as far as shoes. Like a lot of people follow a bunch of rappers, a bunch of singers and stuff. And what do they talk about? Nothing. All they do is post show dates, album stuff, tweet out when a new music video come out and you're going to see the video regardless. At least when you talk to me on there, you can get a question answered, you can um, see what I'm up to, or just to show support. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an up and coming producer. I've been doing music for about eight years now on producing tip. As you guys see, I'm always here. Um, I'm building up a studio now and I'm going to start incorporating that into the channel. That's, that was the whole reason why I started the channel, Beats and Sneaks, was so that I could put my producing stuff in there and my actual shoe things that I do because I, I was like, what's a good way to, you know, get a nice amount of people together? And I said, I might as well just do both on one channel because most people who are into sneakers are deep into music too. So. They go hand in hand, and that's why I did that. So, just to show support, and also just to kick it with me on there, follow me on Twitter, man. Um, and that's also gonna be one of the ways that you're gonna have to be involved in giveaways and stuff like that in the future anyway. And so, if you get into a good relationship with me and stuff like that, I wanna know who you are, 
and stuff like that. And maybe you do your own clothing line or maybe you do your own music and stuff like that. We might be able to link up with each other or I might be able to help promote your stuff. You get what I'm saying? So that's what it's about. It's about helping. Now, like I said, you guys are following a bunch of people who don't honestly really even care about communicating back with you. Now, that's just being honest. Because I even follow people that, that never communicated back with me, but for the most part, most of the people I follow are people either I know or they're like other producers that I'm cool with, that I've worked with before. So just, you know, follow your boy, let me know what's up. And anyway, I'm just I'm just rambling a little bit, but you know, this is just gonna be a quick unboxing. I don't even know what's in here. What's ever in here, they're gonna have their own separate reviews, but I just wanted to say that to you guys. Um, I know a lot of you guys are into music. A lot of you guys always ask me about the beats on my videos. Most of the time, the beats are either something I made or they're by a friend of mine. I put the beat in the background and stuff like that. And if someone is interested in the beat, I send them right over to one of my friends or something. That's just showing love right there because I don't have to do that. I could put Waka Flocka in the background all day, but I don't want to do that. I'm all about helping the up and coming guys. So I'm a little rusty blade right here. Open this up. Got to be careful with this thing. I have to get a tetanus shot if I cut myself. <laughs> oh man! Shout out to all the up and coming artists, beat makers, clothing designers, um, anything, anything creative wise. Shout out to y'all. Also, shout out to all of the younger cats out there. I, I, I've noticed that I got a lot of younger people that follow me on here and Twitter and stuff like that. Shout out to y'all too, man, on, on the academics, on the, whatever you do, man. As long as it's something positive, I'm rocking with you, and the rest of the community is rocking with you. No matter how old you are, you know, age doesn't matter. It's, it's all about what you're doing. It's not how big the thing is, it's, it's what you're doing. It's, it's if it's positive or negative, that's all that matters. Because there's a bunch of people my age that's just terrible. There's a bunch of parents out there that suck as parents. There's a lot of bad children. And you know, it's all about just being positive at whatever you do. And sooner or later, whatever you're doing is gonna work out for you if you just keep staying positive because you never know who's watching you. Like I was saying before the video was cut off. <clears throat> Finally got these boys out of here, these shoes. Look how I messed up the box was <laughs> before I got them out. But like I was saying, also, they when I get these shoes in, because a lot of people do ask me about packaging, they are packed up really good. Double box and they have the poppy paper. The insulation so that your shoes don't get damaged by water or anything like that if the box got wet. And also to help keep the edges of your box pretty good, you know. Sometimes your box still might get a little beat up, but it's nowhere near as bad as some of these eBay shippers or these guys on YouTube that see your shoes. But um, back to what I was also saying, uh, it don't matter what you're doing, man. If you're a positive person, whatever you're doing is going to work out for you eventually. It's not about how big you are. It's about the positivity and how much drive you got to fulfill that dream. Um, if, if, if you ever meet anybody on your regular daily life, and we all meet them, we all meet those people a lot. The people who, if you're not big at what you do and you aspire to be something, you talk about, you talk about what you really want to do all day, every day. And that's not a bad thing because even in a, even in a religious sense, it says that there's a lot of power in the tongue and you have to speak things into existence, whether it's positive or negative. So if you want to be something, it's okay to talk about it. If somebody gets irritated by it, then that means that they're not happy with themselves because your expectation exceeds what they're trying to do. Or it exceeds where they're at now and they are content with just being a nobody or somebody who's not really doing nothing to help their community or somebody who's not being the best they can be. So always just stay positive. That's what it's about. Those people are ridiculous because they don't see that it takes progress for everybody. Like, I'm still not where I want to be. Man, honestly, no shoe reviewer on YouTube is where they want to be. This is just a portion of what we do. 
I want to put this out there. If, if there's any shoe reviewer on YouTube, and all you do is shoot stuff, like shoot the, the YouTube thing is the yeah, most like important that. thing going on in your life, you need to reevaluate yourself because yeah, this there is no money in this at all. You spend money. So, you know, no matter what the shoe reviewers say to you guys, if they come off disrespectful and stuff like that, just don't watch their videos. Don't thumb down their video. Don't talk junk and waste your energy. Just don't watch them. The most you can do for yourself is just to not watch them because you're not going to get irritated if you just don't watch them. Because at the end of the day, those people are miserable because all they do is put down people over YouTube. Like, I don't get it. Unless you're one of the guys on here selling shoes who don't like me because I tell you guys how to get the shoe the same way they getting them selling me off. I don't cuss on my videos like that, but fuck those guys. I'm going to just be straight up with y'all. Y'all know, like y'all seen that one video, I sold those shoes for dirt cheap. It was because I, I usually get my shoes for a pretty good price and I'm not hurting for money like that. Like I said, I was free enough space and I wanted to help somebody out, but I also didn't want to just give them away. Because, I mean, if I, when I do the giveaway, I want them to be some crispy shoes. And, I, and that might seem weird. Y'all like, why would you give away some crispy shoes and not use them? I, that's just how I am. I'm weird like that, I guess. But... Boom, you got the landing here. I'm not going to get into the review. Like I said, this is just an unboxing. And, you know, I'm pretty sure somebody will comment, man, you talking too much. Get to the shoes. This isn't the review, so just let me <laughs> let me talk to my people. <laughs> so that's that one. And let me get this other one. Okay, so this one here, you don't need an introduction. Y'all saw the landing. You can see the box on this one. Just crazy. <clears throat> Blue Gamma joint right here. Now, if this was 2006 or something, we would probably call this the Carmelo Anthony joint. But, you know, this right here is a little bit more of like a New Orleans Hornets color or Charlotte Hornet, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I'm thinking if, if, if Melo probably would have stayed with the Nuggets, they probably would have just gone ahead and made these baby blue and yellow, which would have been nice. That would have been sweet. Let me know in the comments if y'all think that would have been dope. I'm, I'm telling you, that would have been sick. As you can see, same old carbon fiber paper, as usual, and then boom. Giga, let them know what's up with these beats, bro. <laughs> this shoe nice. Um, this is definitely a shoe that you have to have in person to really see the true, you know, essence of the design. Of course you know how they're designed, but as far as the color scheme, the whole layout of it, man. Look at that. Is this shoe worth copping? 100% yes, thumbs up. I'm telling you, yeah, this is worth copping. And I wasn't gonna get this shoe at first. Uh, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I was gonna get it, but I was impressed about getting it. And I still was impressed about getting it when I got it now, but now that I have it in my hand, I know that if I wouldn't have got these, and they would have sold out and stuff like that. I probably would have just bit the bullet and paid extra a crazy amount to a reseller and probably got these and I would have been mad at myself for it. So, I would say these are a must cop. A lot of people don't want to grab them because they're not a retro colorway and because they're not, um, a lot of people, I don't want to jump into the hype. I don't want to be in the hype. And that's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And that's not to offend anybody, because I'm pretty sure a bunch of you guys said that, that's, that's watching this. That's just like saying, I don't want to make money because everybody want to be rich. What? Just because some people are hype beasts about the shoe, that don't mean that you don't have to get it at all. If you caught yourself saying that before, that means you are a hype beast, because if you really wanted the shoe, you don't care who else getting the shoe. That's the whole point of not being a hype beast. You don't care who else is getting the shoe. You want it. Or the car, you want it. Or a specific type of house, you want it. Or the career path you choose, you want that. It don't matter if a million people or one person want it. That should never change your perspective on what you want to do and what you want to achieve. So that's a hype beast phrase. I don't want to be in part of the hype. What? 
it's it's all about wants and needs, man. That's that's what it's about. So I would say this shoe is a must cop because it's an all black base shoe. Basically, the color that's in the shoe are all together. Like you got the jump man with the 23 here, with the you know that little greenish blue, light blue color, and that yellow, and the same here on the tongue. So basically, the shoe is all black. Basically, if you want to just be technical. And he never dropped retro shoes in all black like that. There's there's always red and white or purple and teal or, you know, baby blue and some weird color and stuff like that. And this shoe doesn't have too much going on. And so you can just throw it on anything. And also, this shoe is very easy. If you like that blackout shoe, this is the easiest shoe to get blacked out. All they're gonna do is paint this here, paint that there, paint the tongue and black out this bottom if you if you wanted them to. I would probably leave them like this. But if you blacked out the bottom, they probably would be sweet. Smoke them out. Smoke them boys out. You'll be looking like Rob Deer that truck on your feet. <laughs> but I would say, yeah, I would go with these, definitely. Also because, for example, shoes that weren't uh, retro colorways, Gray toe 13s, wheat 13s, baby blue 13s, all white 13s, all black 13s. There was a couple of PEs that were kind of being produced mass massively that wasn't supposed to be produced like that. Um, like Ray Allen's, for example, them too. Um, none of those are retro colorways, and yet they are hard to come by now. And if you do get them, you're spending a crazy amount of money for a shoe that's worn. So I would I would say get these because of that. Most of the time when they try a new color out, it's gonna be more worthy or cost more than the regular colorway because the regular colorways come out like three times in within ten years. So I would definitely jump on that. But if you was to jump at any of those thirteens I just said, especially like the wheat thirteens, you'll be breaking necks, turning heads. Everybody in your neighborhood would be wearing break necks by break, uh, neck brace by next week. If you throw those shoes on right now, because everybody be like, oh, you still got those? You, you got those? So, I would say get these. Um, it's a dope shoe, man. Definitely. All blacked out. But like I was saying, all you see all of the Twitter and Instagram links down there, man. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Instagram. Yes, these shoes will have their own, their own full reviews on Sunday. So, hey. let me know. Peace. Are you talking to me? How the heck did I just call you? No, oh, I just called you. How, why did my phone just answer? My, I was not, my phone was on the table and I'm doing a shoe review. Oh, 